Hi, good morning everyone. It's Joy here coming to you with my Friday Live. And today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about some simple tips that I wanted to pass along that can help you relieve stress during this crazy time of year, the holiday season. It's almost the middle of October, and if you're like most of us, you're beginning to think about the upcoming months of the year. And it's a time that we think about how we want to celebrate, but also ways that our lives are going to be turned completely upside down. And I know that you, especially as a parent of a special needs child, is going to have even more stress in your life. I mean, first the weather changes, which means clothing that uh, has to be added that your child may not want to wear. And then there's Halloween, and this could mean clothing that your child may decide they never want to take off. And then the time changes. Well, or for most of the world, it changes uh, because your child probably doesn't want to change the time at all and still gets up an hour earlier than the rest of the world because for them, there's no fallback, right? <laughs> exactly. Next is Thanksgiving or the day that your child's asked to sit at a large table and try foods that they really don't like or may be terrified of. And then that's closely followed by a month of bright lights, loud music, boxes that can't be opened, and extended time off from school. So for many of you, this time of year can be anything but fun. And it's actually adding the addition of a lot of stress and anxiety, right? And when you're more anxious, guess what? Your child is too. And suddenly it's not the happiest time of year, is it? So today, I thought I would give you a few tips that I picked up from a blog that I read that's called 12 Simple Ways to Be Present, and it's by Charlie Gilkey. Because, you know, one of the greatest causes of anxiety and depression of our lives actually is it's living in the past or worrying about the future. And I want to encourage you today to spend more time being present right now, right here, letting go of worries about all the shoulds, the coulds, and the woulds, and trying to focus on your cans. So how can we do that? Well, first of all, here's some things that you can do that I want to assure you you can do to make sure that you don't miss what's happening now. They don't cost anything, and they're very simple. The first thing is just to breathe deeply. There's a breathing technique that's called combat breathing which makes a lot of sense for where many of you are i know and how you do it is you breathe in and count to the count to four hold the breath for four counts and then breathe out for three to five counts it's hard not to be present when you're doing this and you can do this at any time without anyone even noticing the second thing is drink water it's a simple thing that we forget and the lack of water can actually yield can actually point to a lot of physical ailments that can be causing us stress that we just may not even realize are there also guess what you can't drink a glass of water without being present or you'll miss your mouth so it's a good thing to do the third thing is to wiggle your toes seriously our toes are these things that usually just sit there in our shoes or on the earth. Try it right now. Scrunch up your toes, then stretch them out. You're welcome, Beth. Glad you tuned in. Stretch out your toes. Now wiggle them. Now, did you notice that when you did that, you really couldn't think about anything else while you were actively moving your toes? Yeah, that's right. And the great thing about wiggling your toes is that you can do it in any social situation. And again, no one will even notice. The fourth thing and the last thing that I want to share is to stretch. Yeah, that's right. When your body is stiff and constricted, this leads to anxiety. And it's hard to be present when you're anxious, isn't it? We're anxious because our bodies are tense and we're tense because we're anxious. It's a crazy circle and stretching can short circuit that loop. And that means that you're more likely to be present. Just try it. Now there are eight other ways that Charlie talks about and I'm going to post the link to his blog below 
uh, after my live. You can't go wrong with any of them, I promise. They don't cost you anything. They don't interrupt a routine, which we know is important in your life. And guess what? They're even things you could probably teach to your kid. So I want to encourage you to have a great rest of your day practicing being present. And as always, thanks again for tuning in and thanks for following us on all the socials. And we look forward to hearing more from you about ways that you find to be present. Happy Friday.